Hi, this is Jonah Dempsey, and I'm in Ibiza. I've been picking wild sage and rosemary. We've been doing a whole series on elements of compatibility using some of the original research from Steve Rhodes, plus my own extra additions overlay. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the lines. And Steve Rhodes says something really interesting about the lines. This was one that was kind of hard for me to accept when I first heard it. He said that lines one and two are reactive, three and four are opportunistic, and five and six are initiating. And it took me a minute to really register this because as a generator, so much of my experiment with human design is not initiating. But I have a fifth line personality, which he lists as one of the lines that initiates. So how do we reconcile this? I think to, to understand the difference here, we just have to look at the difference between the aura mechanics and the energy versus the profile and what the profile is. And the aura mechanics and energy are sort of how you're meant to operate in the Maya. I'm not here to initiate, I'm here to respond. And yet my role, my profile, my incarnation cross, and how I fulfill my life purpose does have something to do with initiating. That the fifth line is initiating in the sense of bringing things into the Maya and universalizing them and making sure that they stick around for the future. It's initiating in the sense of calling, calling to others. And so, yeah, it really is an interesting question of how do we reconcile this keynote of initiating that Steve Rhodes gives to lines five and six versus the energy type of the generator, which does not initiate. We know that projectors and reflectors are also not here to initiate, that only the manifestors are here to initiate. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting question, basically, of how, uh, how to reconcile these two levels. All right, to be continued.